Welcome to Max Sunk Media. For info, update, keep in touch. It's another day with Excel team. Today we want to look at how we can connect Excel application to MySQL. Assuming you have MySQL data, MySQL database on your machine or on a remote machine, and then you want to modify, analyze, or uh, work on that data or that record which is in your MySQL database. How do we do that? That is how we want to do. You have a bunch of record in there and you want to analyze it or modify it or work on it in MySQL. You want to know how you can do the connection. You want to know how you can connect it and display data from MySQL onto Excel. So let's go back to business. First, let me launch my MySQL command line. Okay. So this is my SQL command line. Um, okay, my SQL command line is ready. Okay, my SQL command line, it's ready. Okay, so let me sh see the databases that the databases that I have in there. Okay, so I will be using this other database I have in there. So I'll be using the guard database. So use guard. Okay use guard all right let me see the tables that i have in there okay let me see the tables that i have in that database okay i have only one table in it which are members so let me see the record let's see the record that is in there okay let me see the record that is in there so from members okay wow stick all right, spelling mistakes. Okay, from members. Okay, so these are the table. Sorry, these are the record I have in that members table in GAT database. Okay, all right. Now we want to modify this data in Excel, Excel application. How do we do that? Let's look at the connection. First, before you can do the connection, you first have to click on data, then you click on my SQL. X for Excel. You click on data, then MySQL for Excel. Now, when the drop down list appears, you click on new, new connection. Okay, when you click on new connection, then connection name, you type in your connection name. Your connection name can be anything. So my own is going to be guard data base or guard data. Let me make it guard data. My own is going to be guard data. Then your host name is local host. Okay. Now the port number, I have modified my port number. So it's not going to be default. So let me enter my port number. So that's my port number. Your own might be default. So if your own is default, you leave it like that. Now the username is always root. Maybe in case you change your own, you can enter your username and then the password. You enter your password. Okay. Then you click on test connection test connection all right connection is successful when you see it my connection is successful now you can use the default schema so you click the arrow there you pick your default schema and i want my default schema to be what guard okay then you click on okay now the connection is successful so now when you look at your local connections you can see guard data that is the name of my connection so you just double click on it and then the database the database in that connection or in that particular term will be displayed we are using we are going to work with the guard database so this is the guard database so you click on it and you click on what next now when you click on this you see the tables all right we have only one table which is what the members so when you come to the my circle command line this is the table we will have only one table which is the members so the same table is here the members so you just click on that table then when you click on it then you see import my sql data import my sql data the import my sql data here moved the data from my sql server or copy the data from my sql server onto your excel spreadsheet here when you modify it or, or you work on it it will not be saved back in the sql in my sql database it will not be saved saved back there okay now so when you click there you see that you see your records 
your records in the table your records in the table now we don't want to import it so that is not what we want so we cancel we want to what edit my sql data so when you when you edit my sql data here whatever changes you do here or whatever changes or whatever modifications you are going to do here will be saved back in the sql in the my sql database okay so you just click on it and then you click on so these are the records so you click on what okay you click on okay then you will see all those records okay so here these are the records in the table okay these are the records in the members table so when you check it on the uh, mysql command line these are the records so the same records that is here so here you can modify this record you can change it you can add record to it you can do anything you want to do with this data you can customize it whatever you want to do it's you you can you can do it so here we want to add another data another record to it we want to add another record so let's say that is going to be record 14 so let's say mark menu and then let's say um the church the church let me see uh, um let me see church of god church of god so c o okay. church of god okay so church of god now press the enter okay here if you don't there is one thing you will do if you don't do it this data will not be safe so you have to come here and click on what commit changes you click on commit changes so when you click on commit change commit changes here commit changes as we click on it you realize that op operation completed successfully meaning our data has been saved to the database successfully okay now when you go to the when you go to my sql command line and then you query that data back from that table you see that it is added successfully okay you see that it is added successfully now we don't have any church called global let's come back to excel again we don't have any church called global so we want to modify this as we want to do the correction so here the uh, record 13 maxwell record 13 we want to change it to presby we want to make it presby okay so as presby here you just click on what, commit changes and then successfully operation completed successfully meaning this record here has been modified or has been changed so when you go to the circle command line you realize that record 13 or 13 maxwell uh, it has been modified change from that global to presby okay so this is how you can connect now the revert data here meaning all the changes you do here will be reversed back okay it will roll back it will not it's like undo redo and undo so you you the revert data here it's talking about undo it will revert the changes thank you very much for watching and if there is anything you want me to add if there is any suggestion if there is any correction please put it under the put it in the comments or in the under the video use the comments section to put it in there but please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share thank you very much and may god bless you all amen